a land here Roman two, min two, u, min two, u min two, min two, min two, u min two. A land here Roman two Persian. A land here DWM six June sixteen ninety nine twenty nine November seventeen fifty nine was the fifteenth Mughal emperor of India who reigned from three June seventeen fifty four. He was the son of Jahandar Shah, born as is Adin, the second son of Jahandar Shah, was raised to the throne by Ahmad ul Mulk after he deposed Ahmad Shah Bahadur in 1754. On ascending the throne, he took the title of Alangir and tried to follow the approach of Aurangzeb Alangir. I, at the time of his accession to throne, he was an old man of 55 years. He had no experience of administration and warfare as he had spent most of his life in jail. He was a weak ruler, with all powers vested in the hand of his vizier, Imad al mulk In 1756, Ahmad Shah Abdali invaded India once again, and captured Delhi and plundered Mathura. Marathas became more powerful because of their collaboration with Imad al mulk and dominated the whole of northern India. This was the peak of Maratha expansion, which caused great trouble for the Mughal Empire, already weak with no strong ruler. Relations between Alangir Roman II and his usurping vizier, Imad al mulk had now deteriorated. He was murdered by Imad al mulk Alangir Roman II's son Ali Gohar escaped persecution from Delhi, while Shah Jahan Roman III was placed on the throne. Early Life he was born on 6 June 1699 at Bohanpur and was the second son of Mazad Din, the son of future emperor Bahadur Shah Ayalangir Roman II was seven when his great-grandfather Aurangzeb died in the Deccan. After the death of his grandfather, Bahadur Shah I and the war of succession that followed, his father Mazad Din was defeated by the next Mughal emperor, Farag Siyar. Aziz ad-Din was then imprisoned in 1714 and released in 1754 by usurping vizier Ahmad al-Mulk. He perceived Aziz ad-Din as a frail personality who would not object his regime. Therefore, on 2 June 1754, Aziz ad-Din was given the title Alangir, Roman II, by the vizier out of his own recommendation, as he wanted to follow the centralized approach of Aurangzeb. Succession to Throne Ahmad al mulk hired Maratha mercenaries to do his bidding and put all the imperial revenues into his own pocket and starved Alangir, Roman II's family. He also persecuted Ali Gohar, the elder son of Alangir, Roman II. Since then, relations between Alangir, Roman II, and Ahmad al mulks regime were so bad that the latter got him assassinated in November 1759. Rain after the emergence of Alangir Roman II, the Mughal Empire had impulsively began to re-centralize, particularly when many Nawabs sought the gratification of the Mughal Emperor and his coordination regarding their resistance to the Maratha. This development was clearly unwelcome by Imad al mulk who sought to strengthen his authoritarianism with the undaunted support of the Marathas. Alliance with the Durrani Emirate In the year 1755, the acclaimed Mughal viceroy of Punjab, Moin al mulk died. His widow Mughlani begun desperately sought the assistance of Ahmad Shah Durrani to halt any succession struggle and to quell the Sikh rebels in the eastern regions. Ahmad Shah Durrani and his forces then marched into Lahore in the year 1756 and appointed his son Timur Shah Durrani as the new viceroy at Lahore, under the protection of the commander Jahan Khan, and also placed Adinid Beg as the Fajr of Dobe. Ahmad Shah Durrani then plundered Sikh and Hindu inhabitants in the unstable and outlawed eastern regions of the Punjab. He then marched towards Delhi in October 1757. The Mughal Emperor Alangir Roman II, with courtiers such as Shah Walila, nobles such as Najib ul Dola, and the imperial family went to meet Ahmad Shah Durrani whose forces then engaged the Marathas in combat and threatened to overthrow and execute the regime of Ahmad al mulk Ahmad Shah Durrani's relations with the Mughal emperor strengthened further when his son Timur Shah Durrani was chosen as the suitor of Alangir Roman II's daughter Zura Begum. 
Ahmad Shah Durrani himself also married Hadrat Begum, the daughter of the former Mughal Emperor Mohammad Shah. Ahmad Shah Durrani returned to Kabul, leaving his forces led by his son Timur, Shah Durrani consolidating themselves inside the garrisons of Lahore, where they founded the Zamzama Cannon with the assistance of Mughal metalsmiths. He was supported by Mohammad Bahal Khan Roman II, now of Amir of Balpur, and Mohammad Nasir Khan Iconate of Kalat. Siege of Delhi, 1757. In July 1757, the Marathas led by Raghunath Rao rejected the alliance established between the Durrani Empire and the Mughal Empire. They were assisted by Ahmad al Mulk and encamped 30 km opposite to the Red Fort and occupied all the villages by the Jamuna they began to besiege Delhi. The Marathas fought against Alangir, Roman II's incumbent, Mur Bakshi paymaster Najib ul Dola along with his lieutenants Qutub Shah and Amin Khan, and a Mughal army of 2,500 garrisoned inside the metropolis of Del. The angry Marathas set ferries ablaze and stopped food supplies from entering Delhi, while Najib ul Dola positioned his heavy artillery outside the vicinity of the Red Fort. Unable to gain any assistance from Ahmad Shah Durrani, who was engaged in quelling various rebellions near Herat, Najib ul Dawla surrendered after resisting the combined brigands of Maratha Confederacy for more than five months. He conceded defeat and withdrew to Najibabad. When the Marathas entered Delhi, the Emperor Alangir, Roman II, and his royal family had somehow fled to Bharatpur state. The Marathas looted and plundered the city and the people of Delhi. Mosques and shrines built by the Mughals were desecrated, and the Peshwa conspired to place Vishwas Rao upon the Mughal throne. Ahmad al Mulk was reappointed Murbakshi and with the support of the Marathas. Not long after entering Delhi, the Marathas encountered a Jat regiment sent by Siraj Mal, who now began to claim sovereignty over Delhi. The Jat also plundered Delhi, but soon afterwards made it possible for Alangir Roman II and the Mughal royal family. However, despite losing control of Delhi, Najib ul Dawla and his associates, such as Qutub Khan and Abdus Samad Khan the Mughal Fajr of Sirhind, continued to challenge the Maratha Confederacy and its allies during confrontations at Saharanpur and Shahabad Markanda. In response, the Marathas sacked the inhabitants of Tariori, Karnal, and Kunjpura. The Maratha attack upon Kunjpura triggered a military response by Ahmed Shah Durrani, whose forces crossed the sacred rivers of India in search of their Maratha opponents. Subjects opposing the Maratha Confederacy In the year 1756, a Langir Roman II sympathized with the cause of his loyal Nawabs of Kurnul, Kadepa, and Savanar when their assigned territories were ravaged and plundered until 1757 by the Maratha chieftain Balaji Baji Rao. Third Carnatic War 1757-1763 Loss of Bengal Alangir Roman II grieved the death of Alavardi Khan, the famous Nawab of Bengal, who annually pledged five million dams to the imperial court. His successor, Siraj Adala, was recognized as the next Nawab of Bengal, but he faced internal rivals who refused to consider the firman granted by Alangir Roman II to Siraj Adala. These internal conflicts would lead Siraj Adala to hastily annex Calcutta from the English East India Company, without the permission of the Mughal Emperor Alangir, Roman II, and Salabat Jung. Siraj Adala was quickly defeated by Clive, who recaptured Calcutta, and defeated Siraj Adala during the Battle of Plassey in the year 1757. After the annihilation of his entire army, Siraj Adala fled and was killed by the forces of the treacherous Mir Jafar. The deceased Siraj Adala's pretensions were criticized in the Mughal imperial court by Gilam Hussein Tabatabai, and Alangir Roman II refused to recognize Mir Jafar as the next Nawab of Bengal. In response to the imperial court's decision, Mir Jafar thus consolidated an alliance with the manipulative Ahmad al Mulk against the imperial family. Authority in the Deccan Nawab of Bhopal In the year 1758, the Mughal army of Faiz Mohammed Khan the Nawab of Bhopal was treacherously attacked 
by his stepmother Mamolabai, who suddenly besieged the Mughal garrison at Fortress of Raisin in 1758, according to the layout of the Marathas. The outraged Mughal emperor Alangir Roman II then issued a firman supporting Faiz Mohammed Khan, was the Nawab of Bhopal the only chosen administrator of Raisin. The emperor also granted the title Bahadur to Faiz Mohammed Khan the Nawab of Bhopal. However, the fort remained under the control of Mamolabai and the renegade Nanasaheb Peshwa. The fortress of Raisin was quickly retaken by Faiz Mohammed Khan in the year 1760, after the tragic assassination of Alangir Roman II, and after Satishavrao Bao threatened to ravage Bhopal prior to the Third Battle of Panipat. It is believed that Faiz Mohammed Khan's sepoys were among those who had cut off the various supply routes of the Marathas just before the Third Battle of Panipat. Nawab of Cambay Najam ed Dola supported British presence in Cambay, turning much of his estate into an international safe zone. Although it is likely that he too had to face threats from the Maratha climax. Nawab of Mysore. In 1758, Hyder Ali and his sepoy captured Bangalore from Khand Rao of the Maratha Confederacy. In honor of his achievements during the Carnatic Wars, the king gave him the title Nawab Haider Ali Khan Bahadur. Zenith of the Maratha Confederacy. In 1758, the Marathas led by Raghunath Rao occupied Lahore after extracted an extortion of imperial wealth from Ahmad al Mulk. Together they conspired the overthrow of young Timur Shah Durrani. Raghunath Rao drove out Jahan Khan and Timur Shah Durrani, the son and viceroy of Ahmad Shah Durrani. Timur Shah Durrani and his forces were forced to retreat from Lahore to Peshawar under the force of attacks from Sikhs and Marathas. This victory made the belligerent Peshawar grandiosely sacked Delhi, and hyped their intentions of placing Vishwas Rao on the Mughal throne. Assassination Many of his actions had angered the people of India. Fearing a backlash in the summer of the year 1759, Prince Ali Gohar escaped from Delhi. Agitated by the daring escape in Mad al Mulk, and said a Shivrao Bao reckoned that Langir Roman II was about to advance his son Prince Ali Gohar, to dispossess and overthrow their regime. After detailed consideration Ahmad al Mulk and an angry mob of various ethnic groups plotted to murder the Mughal Emperor Alangir, Roman II, and the assassinations of prominent members of his family in the winter of Seventh. According to legend, during his reign religious feuds became common among the individuals of the Durbar, and communal duels between rivals became a common occurrence. Aftermath Sadashivrao Bao then personally chose the usurping Shah Jahan Roman III as the new Mughal emperor and began a campaign of plundering the jewels and ornaments of the Mughal imperial court. He also defaced mosques, tombs and shrines that the Mughals had built in Agra and Delhi. He then desecrated the imperial Moti Masjid and looted its exquisite jeweled decor. The defeat of Alangir Roman II's son-in-law Timur Shah Durrani by the Marathas in the year 1760 provoked the wrath of Ahmad Shah Durrani, who launched a massive campaign gathering more troops than ever before. In response to Ahmad al Mulk and Sadashivrao Bao, Najib ad Dallah and his firm alliance of principal Muslim nobles in the Mughal Empire, and Ahmad Shah Abdali recaptured Delhi and placed it under the nominal authority of Shah Alam Roman II. In the south, Hyder Ali and his Mysore army ferociously attacked the Maratha. Meanwhile, Shah Alam Roman II anticipated the collapse of the Maratha, declared Shuja ad his Grand Vizier, and Najib ad as his honorary Mukhtar Khan's chief representative. These developments eventually culminated into rise of religious and political loyalties that eventually clashed at the Third Battle of Panipat in the year 1761. Foreign Relations Seven Years' War In 1756, the Seven Years' War had broken out, and Alangir Roman II was supported by various international belligerents of that war. It was the first global war in which the Great Mughal had his involvement apart from the boundaries of India. 
a Langier Roman too initially involved in that war, because the British were hasty in their attempts to conquer Bengal Sabah. In 1755, Tabasi received letter from New Mughal Emperor Alangir Roman II requesting French assistance to put down the Maratha Confederacy. Alangir Roman II asked if it was possible for Debussy to dispatch a French contingent of 1,000 strong to protect the Mughal Empire's capital at Delhi. Alangir Roman II also promised to pay a hefty sum for the maintenance of the French and even promised to settle disputes in the Carnatic Wars in favor of the French East India Company. In 1757, Alangir Roman II had successfully achieved peace between the Durrani Emirate and the Mughal Empire. Alangir Roman II even secured a matrimonial alliance when Timur Shah Durrani married Gohar Afros began the daughter of the Mughal Emperor Alangir Roman II in February 1757 and Ahmed Shah Durrah. They were probably instrumental in assisting the first Nawab of Junigat. It is believed that Alangir Roman II even tried to reconcile the English East India Company and the French East India Company before his death in 1759. Death The newly appointed Mughal Grand Vizier after Ahmed Shah Durrani's invasion was Najib ad who tried to consolidate the remains of the Mughal Empire by uniting distant Fajrs, Nawabs, and Nizams into a common cause against the Marathas. Fearing their wrath, the deposed Imad al-Mulk aligned himself with the Maratha leader Sadashiv Rao Bao and launched a counterattack against Najib ad which lasted 15 days and resulted in the defeat of Najib ad who was to. Imad al-Mulk then feared that the Mughal emperor Alangir, Roman II, would recall Ahmad Shah Durrani or use his son Prince Ali Gohar to dispossess him of his newfound power with the Marathas. Therefore, Imad al-Mulk plotted to murder the Mughal emperor Alangir, Roman II, and his family. A few Mughal princes, including Ali Gohar, desperately managed to escape before assassination. In November 1759, the Mughal emperor Alangir, Roman II, was told that a pious man had come to meet him. Alangir, Roman II, ever so eager to meet holy men, set out immediately to meet him at Kapla Fait Shah, he was stabbed repeatedly by Imad al-Mulk's assassins. The Mughal emperor Alangir Roman II's death was mourned throughout the Mughal Empire, particularly by the Muslim populace. After the assassination of Alangir Roman II in 1759, the Peshwa under the sway of Sadashiv Rao Bao had reached the peak of its short-lived power particularly when their involvement in the assassination had become eminent when he discussed abolishing the Mughal Empire and placing Vishwasrao on the th In popular culture, in the 2019 Bali, in the 1994 TV series, The Great Maratha, the character was portrayed by Aaron Bali.